How's it gaming guys? I'm Fellow Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. We're on route uh, 13, I think, now. And it's the kind of weird fence maze uh, that's really kind of weird in, in uh, Crystal. It reminds me of Link to the Past a lot. Uh, nee -hee -hee, would you like to battle my Pikachu gang? Nee -hee -hee. That's not how you spell laughing at all. Uh, oh, you're a Poké fan, and you have six. Jeez. Josh, well, are they all Pikachu? Oh well, if they're all Pikachu, they're all gonna get crunched by Buttercup. Probably gonna switch up Buttercup out of this uh, after this um, fight. Switch over to Patty. Um, Buttercup is at a really good level. Like I said, level 55 is where I want her, but she's gained a lot of good experience the last like couple couple um, episodes, so I can I can lay off a little bit now. Yeah, there we go. Plus, you'll finally be able to see. Um, Soon enough, anyways, what Buttercup evolves into. Uh, it's not nearly as cute. Right now, Buttercup is the cutest little edgelord ever. I love it. Love it so much. Then it becomes something really creepy. Then it becomes something amazing, so... Whatever. It's like the opposite of, um... Uh... The Dratini Dragonite lineup. The middle one is Dragonair, and it's this gorgeous, elegant Pokemon. And this, it's this horrifying monster creature thing that I hate. <laughs> Why? Well, it straight up just is just Pikachu. I mean, this is not a lot of experience, but this is easy experience for Buttercup, so I can't really complain. Four hundred each. All right. Yeah, that's that's not the worst thing. I'm getting twenty four hundred experience out of this one fight. It just takes a little while, but that's fine. At least they're not like level like 15 and giving me nothing, right? I'd rather have um, a full team of, of, of small Pokemon like that, like six of them, as opposed to just like, oh, here's a trainer, it's got one, and it's like, that didn't even feel like an actual fight happened. And crunch. I ate all six. Oh, well, he got an actual attack. And, ooh, for one HP. But yeah, there you go, Joshua. I, I literally ate all six of your Pokemon. That'll teach ya. <laughs> P Pikachu! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Alright, let's switch it over. Uh, let's go to Patty. Um, oh, yes. Over here, there is a Calcium. Very nice. That is awesome. So the weird part, and I've mentioned this a little bit, uh, Route 13, north of Silence Bridge. Oh yeah, Silence Bridge, I forgot what it's called that. Right here. Um, Route 12, there we go. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a lot less trainers, and if you, if you really are really, really, really familiar with the maps... Ooh, another costume. I'll use those off-screen sometime. They're special attack, I believe, so I'll probably end up using them for, um... Probably Patty, actually. Yeah, my only, uh, real special attacker. Um... But yeah, if, you, if you're really familiar with the maps, the maps are a lot smaller in this version of, of Kanto than they are in Red and Blue. So all of Kanto is a lot smaller. It's a lot it's a lot more devoid of life, too. There's not as many trainers. It's weird. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all, so I know I'm right. Yes, yes, just as I thought. You're a fishing fan. Take this. It's super odd. Who cares? This is gained way too late in the game to matter, and the Super Rod doesn't matter anyways, because there's not really any specific Pokemon that you can only catch with the Super Rod. Because you can just, um... You can just evolve all the other ones. The only fishing Pokemon that we haven't gotten yet is Horsey, and we'll get that in the World Islands. Uh, oh yeah, here we are. So if we go over here in this route, real quick, Route 11, we'll get this. Is there anything here? Yes. Ooh, a revive. I don't want a berry. Berries are a waste of, um space in my meager uh, backpack. Let's get a bike going. You know, look at me. Nope. Cool. All the trainers that I'm, I'm skipping, by the way, I'm just gonna fight them in my own time. Uh, Route 11. So this brings us back to Vermilion City, and there's... Uh, we didn't actually look because I, I, I just got the hell out of Vermilion City so fast, but this Snorlax is blocking the way to Diglett's Cave, and this is the only way right now to get to that other like, locked part of Kanto, which is, like, Vermilion, or, sorry, Viridian, Pewter, all that. And we cannot wake Snorlax uh, up yet. So, we can't even get into Vermilion, though it's right there, so it's kind of a crappy place to put it, but whatever, not a big deal. Let's go the other way. Let's follow this bike path instead. Oh, just bring me down, back up. It's kind of fun, actually. Yeah. Ah, oh, wow, the first grass tile I go on, there's a fight. Um... I know exactly where all my all the Pokemon that I'm missing are in the game, and um, 
there's not there's not a whole lot left. Man, we're 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 getting close. We're getting close to the end of catching all of the Pokemons. Wow, another one. Holy nuts. Come on. Eradicate. Ooh. I mean, I guess can't be worth the experience. Let's actually just, have we even seen Waterfall? Like, <laughs> boing, what a weird sound effect. I was expecting like splashes or something. And level 46. Yes, there we go. 200 experience, not really worth it. All right, so back to Salence Bridge, I guess. We'll go up here. No one's even like looking for a fight. It's kind of, oh, you are. <laughs> That's kind of, that was really funny. Uh, wow, got through all that with like no fights. Here's Lavender Town. So, Lavender Town in the original game was, like, a very morbid town. They had the Pokemon Tower up here, which was a kind of like a big mass grave site. It was like a cemetery. And this, it's um, another radio tower. Yay. So, way to go. <laughs> Many people are hard at work here in the radio tower. They must be doing their best to put on good shows. Uh, welcome. Feel free to look around anywhere on this floor, because you can't go any further after this floor. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We've been off the air ever since the power plant shut down. All my efforts to start the uh, start the station would be wasted if I can't broadcast. I'll be ruined. And uh, that that is the kind of hint that you need to go to the power plant uh, to kind of do this, um, the whole air, like Kanto's only real quest. So, we will be doing that. You actually can't go any higher either. Sorry, but you can only tour the ground floor. Ever since Johto's radio tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we have had to step up our security. It's a good way to keep them from having to build more of this area. This is the only floor you'll ever go to. Uh, you don't say anything because you can't give me anything until I do the power plant. But it's kind of like, again, they close off a lot of Kanto and make it, like, just walled off. So, that's quite some building, eh? It's Kanto's radio tower. Thanks. Uh, people come from all over to pay their respects to the departed souls of Pokemon. Yeah, so this is the new kind of little graveyard, I guess, cemetery that they have. Uh, oh, it's Mr. Fuji, still alive. Welcome. Hmm, you appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to departed Pokemon. Please offer condolences for the souls of the departed Pokemon. I'm sure that will make them happy. The Pokemon that lived with me, I love them like my grandchildren. Uh, there are other graves of Pokemon here, I think. There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may enter. Ooh. Can you read any of these? No, you can't. Okay. I came with my mom to visit Pokemon graves. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, depressing. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, you're the name writer. Okay, so I can change the names of my Pokemon if I want to. It's kind of cool there's one in uh, Johto and Kanto. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Kanto has many good radio shows. I sure it does. Uh, Lavender is a tiny, quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's gotten a bit busier since the radio tower was built. I do like how there's a little bit more to the Lavender Town theme as well, which makes it a little bit less creepy. Uh, you need a Poke Flute to wake sleeping Pokemon. Every trainer has to know that, but you can't get a Poke Flute in this game to wake Snorlax. Oh no, what'll we do? Don't worry, there is clearly something. Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. Uh, some cold-hearted people stop caring for their Pokemon. Grandpa takes in the poor homeless Pokemon and takes care of them. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's not home right now. He should be at the Soul House. The Soul House, jeez. Unless it's a really cool, like, jazz place. That's kind of a creepy name. Uh, up here is Rock Tunnel, and this is going to be one of my biggest complaints about uh, the Kanto area. So, the Rock Tunnel in the original game... Now, I think it might be... It might not be mandatory. I think you might be able to skip it. But it's, it, it's, a, it's a major dungeon. At that point in the game, you need to... Oh, Greg, sorry. You needed to have a decent team at that time. Are you also ground? Can I not hurt you? Oh, shit. Wow. That's bad to have Patty here, then. Um, it was... Yeah, I think we're way up. All right, time to switch this out for... How much do in there? Um... What was I talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, you had to get a really good team at that point to get through it. There was like 12 trainers or something. It was it was big. Like It was a big deal. In this game, not only is it completely optional, you just go around it, which is what I'm going to be doing. There are zero trainers in it. Like, really? So you just have a little, a, a, a much smaller version of the rock tunnel, and there's no reason to go in there. Like, I will still go in there later on because there is Pokemon I can get, uh, but we're going to go the other way. Uh, we're going to go around it first. 
But yeah, there's a couple of decent items, nothing amazing, but it's just... That's one of those things where I'm like, I'm really annoyed by um, just how they clearly didn't... I don't know why I'm going up here. I'm talking about how I don't want to go there, but... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's like, they, they, there's no effort in that. They made it smaller, and they made it less, gave you less reason to, to do anything with it. At least with Mount Mortar, like, there's not, it's, it's still optional, but there's a great prize inside, plus a ton of items. So, like, it's not bad. I'm gonna Thunder, I haven't used Thunder in a long time. There we go. Thought it hit. And, uh, probably won't kill. Oh, I guess, oh, that's so close. Ooh, lots of vital throw. At least it wasn't like counter or revenge or something like that. That would have killed me immediately. Ooh, ooh, stop that. Oh, those are critical. Still though, don't do that. I don't like that, says I. There we go. That's some experience, nice. And that was it. I hate when I have just one Pokemon. Ha 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 ha, Chew, was it Hay Fever? Hay Fever is making me sneeze, ha <laughs> ha, chew. So I won't go in this way, um, there's the other way to go, but uh, we'll be getting two, catching two Pokemon for a total of three new Pokemon. That's Cubone, which turns into Marowak, and then we'll also get Kangaskhan there. Uh, but instead, let's heal up. And then the next few level or, uh, episodes will be just us exploring a couple towns and doing those gyms. Because there's, there's four gyms we can basically do almost right back to back. Uh, there's a radio program that plays polka flute music. Oh, see, that spoils it. Uh, yeah, there you go. I need uh, the polka flute radio uh, station, but I don't have the ability to do, do anything with that yet. The power plant isn't running. The magnet train won't run either. It's all. It also means the radio station can't broadcast. The um, train station, what he was talking about, uh, one second. To the north of Lavender is Rock Tunnel. Go through to get the power plant. Thank you. Uh, that's what I want to do is is I I want to get the power plant so I can get the the... the uh, Poke Flute Station, but I also want to get the train going because the train. I want to fight you. I'm not fighting enough things. We've got many gym badges, sir. Do uh, the train will allow me to go back to Johto at any time I want, uh, which is something that I really do want to do because one, there is a brand new legendary that we could have gotten gotten before we even got to Johto, which I didn't do because I'm kind of waiting a little bit longer for my levels to be better. And once we get to Pewter, we'll have the ability to go get the other legendary. So, probably should not have used Spark here. No, that was bad. Oh, still very powerful, though, all things considered. Ah, damn. Paralyzed, that's no good. Oh, one more Spark will take it out. Uh, but yeah, I figured we'll do both Legendaries at, like, the same time. Probably not the same episode, but once I have access to both of them, we'll go and do both of them. We'll go back to Johto. Because it's the only thing left to do in Johto for us. Uh, everything else is Kanto-based, so... Switch you over for Hamburger, because Hamburger is great against uh, Steel right now with our um, our Fire Punch, which isn't super powerful because it is considered a special attack, I believe, because it's fire. Um, I think, I, I'm, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, guys, uh, in the first game, each typing, like attack type, so a fire attack, would always be a special attack, um, while like fighting would always be physical. And I think that's the same in this game. But in Generation 3 onwards, every single attack can have a different typing. So, like, Flamethrower would be a special attack, but Fire Punch would be a physical attack. So it would use a different stat to calculate the damage, which is way smarter. But I think in this one, Fire Punch, despite the fact that it's a literal punch, um, is, is considered a special attack. So, just as I thought, you're tough. Darn right, I got lots of those badges, man, just like you said. What I should be doing, considering nothing's really hard. Uh, I wish I had more amulet coins. I was about to say, get get my guys the amulet coins and uh, get more money, but I don't really need money right now. I'm not really buying anything. I'll probably need some more Ultra Balls for all the legendaries and stuff, but we might be good for anything. Um, I might get some medicine to pump out my uh, my my party members a little bit near the end, but that's a lot of money to pump into to, to, to steroids, basically. Ah, don't minimize. You're faster? Lantern must be a slow Pokemon. Never really noticed it. No, I still hit him. That's all that matters to me. Will it kill, though? Nice. Good stuff. I do like because um, Patty is a water lightning uh, Pokemon, both of my attacks, um, all, all four of my attacks, do stab damage, which is fantastic. That just super great. Thunder hit. Oh, good. If you use Minimize, I would have been screwed because... <laughs> It's already, like, hard to hit with Thunder. Can imagine if he's minimized first. That would have been bad. Ooh, see how much HP they have when I, how slow that, those bars go. 
Harden all you want. Like I said, I'm pretty sure um, elemental attacks like uh, electric attacks and water attacks are all special attacks and not physical attacks anyways. I should probably heal your paralysis, shouldn't I? Probably. Sorry, Super Nerd Sam. I just want to see that Magnet train. Then go to the train station. Don't hang out here, you weirdo. You're all so odd. There we go. Very nice. Um. Oh, I think there's three bikers I need to fight right here. Yeah, all three of them. Uh, you can think you're smart and like sneak out, but you'll you won't. You'll just bring one of the guys there, and they'll block your path. You have to do all three of them. You can fight one and then leave. Um, and then they'll reset, and you'll have already fought the first one, so you can sneak by then, but I'm just gonna fight all three, why not? Biker Zeke wants to bow. Zeke! Ah, go coughing. <laughs> I like his... He puts his eyes up, he's like... <laughs> he's just, he's very cute and happy. I, I like, I like coughing a lot. I'm not a fan of wheezing, but I like coughing. If I had a coughing in real life, I wouldn't let him evolve. I want to keep him as wheezing. I mean, coughing. Sorry, I want to keep him as coughing. Not wheezing. And another one. Bikers, uh... It's kind of funny, I never really noticed this. There's no bikers in Johto, they're all in Kanto. And they always have, like, um... Like, poison type, which is... A little... I don't know, a little repetitive, considering that's what Team Rocket always has. So, whatever. I guess it makes sense that there's no bikers in, um... Johto. Johto is so much more... Traditional of a... Of a, of a Region, you know what I mean? Uh, the cops shut down our underground path. That really fries me. Yeah, so the underground path in the original game, uh, you wouldn't be able to get a saffron right away. There was two underground paths, one going north and south, one going east to west. And, um... Ooh, Flareon, nice. Very pretty. And, um... Uh, that's how you'd kind of go about those towns until you were able to get in the saffron. In this game, the underground area doesn't exist. Another, another way to kind of, um make Kanto a little bit shorter uh, and smaller without, you know, I don't know, without making things too, too, too small, just take out areas in total. And there's no sense in having the underground paths anyways in this version of the game, so why have them? So they explained that, that the cops kind of shut it down because there were gangs down there, which is a reasonable idea. Like, the houses are still there where they, um, where, where you'd enter them. They just, they're just locked, basically. Like that house um, on the on the path that I found Murkrow and Hound out. There's a little I didn't say it there, but there's a house there, and that's that's how you get into the um, underground path. But you can't go there anyways. That's why I didn't even go in there, and I forgot to mention it at all. So, yay! Down. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Another coffee though. Fine by me. So right to our left, right to the west there, is Saffron, and that is home to the Psychic Gym, and I'm wondering if I should do that one first or if I should move on to Celadon or Vermilion. Probably will. I think in terms of levels, uh, the Psychic Gym has the highest level stuff, so it'll be a little bit more dangerous, um, so I might skip it. We'll still explore Saffron for the, uh, for the remainder of this episode, probably, um, but we'll probably go down to Vermilion or over to Celadon uh, and, and take care of them first. Sell it on this plant, just like before. All the typing is pretty much the same as it was in uh, Red and Blue, um, even if some of the trainers themselves have changed. So, Celadon is still plants, and I don't really have a good counter to plant, so I'll probably end up using Hamburger and Fire Punch for the most part. Um, and um, Vermilion is still Lightning, but it does incorporate a lot more Steel type, so. Probably use... Um, Probably use uh, Buttercup for that because very strong. Actually, can't even be damaged by lightning, electric attacks. So you're Saffron. This is a place called Trainer House in Viridian, where trainers gather from all over the place. Uh, well, we can't go to Viridian right now. Be nice if we could. Up here is the um, gym, and beside you have the other gym. In the original game, uh, Red and Blue, this was a karate house. Uh, everyone welcome, Fighting Dojo or Fighting Dojo. In this game, again, because they were weirdly lazy, there are no fights here. Hello. Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for training. And that's where you can get the Tyro, which I thought was really cool. But there's nothing here. Like, here's a focus ba a band, which I don't want to use. But, like, imagine having a little gym and not at least having a couple fights, you know? It's just it's just really weird. I don't, I don't understand the decisions that they made. 
Uh, I went to the gym wearing for Battles Against Trainers. It turns out I stumbled into the unused gym next door. Boy, I was pretty embarrassed. You should be embarrassed that you put in a gym in this game with no fights. <laughs> game Freak. Our city was featured on a radio program. It's nice to hear praise for your city, but it's a bit embarrassing, too. Is it? <laughs> what is, oh, and that goes up to um, Cerulean. So I'm going to stick around here. Uh, the magnet train is this... Oh, this is the magnet train area. Uh, it's a royal lamp that uses electricity and magnets to attain incredible speeds. However, if there isn't any electricity... Yeah, exactly. So it can't do anything about with this. Or about it right now. Sorry, but the magnet train isn't operating now. It goes to um, Goldenrod, which is kind of a cool area. That's all kind of in the middle of uh, Johto, so it's a good one to kind of connect them. Uh, and you, a little girl who's an expert at mimicking people lives here. She mimics the people she's conversing with. It's confusing. She sounds annoying, actually. <laughs> it's probably her right here. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat. Isn't she in the first game? She should be three years older now. Oh, she's that's not her. <laughs> My daughter is so self-centered, she only has a few friends. Ooh. Well, that sucks. Oh, you can go upstairs. Oh, wow, she actually turns into me. Hi, you must like Pokemon. No, not me, I asked you. Pardon? You're weird. That was weird. <laughs> Quit mimicking. That's my favorite hobby. And you don't get anything this time. I think they originally gave me a copy or something. But it's like, it's so weird that like a lot of the same characters in this game, but they just, they don't do the same stuff. It's, it's just really odd. Going into an alley for the first time makes me sort of nervous. Or anxious. One of the things they did keep in here, which is great, is the Psychic Man. It's not here. This is, um, Silphco? When the Sylphco's head office building, and you probably can't do anything here either. Yep, exactly. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs. That makes sense. Have this neat little souvenir. Oh, an upgrade. If you have a Porygon, which I do, uh, get him to hold on to that, and then trade him to become a uh, Porygon 2. That's actually a pretty cool one. Um, it makes sense you can't go into Sylphco. It's, it's, it's a business area. Why would you go there? Uh, but yeah, the Mr. Psychic is um, still here, and you can go talk to him. Right here, I believe. <laughs> I got it. You wanted this. You get Team 29. Team 29 is Psychic, which the only Pokemon I have in my party that can use it is Mr. Bud the Cat. Mr. Bud the Cat is straight up about to learn it, so I'm not even going to teach Mr. Bud the Cat that. It's, 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 he's going to learn it naturally anyways. Anyways, that was Saffron. A lot less to do than normal. And here is Route 6. No new Pokemon here. Uh, a couple of fights, but they they just have baby Pokemon. That guy's not even a fight. He just tells you you can't get into the uh, underground path. And Vermilion City. Where we started our Kanto journey. Over here, you're still tamping the ground? I thought you, like, by now you had... Oh. That child was growling while stomping the ground flat. I thought you had, like, built a, a statue there by this point. I'm going to prepare the land for construction. I have no money to start the project. Well, don't look at me. Hey, you, you were doing that like three years ago in, in Red and Blue. Is this the Pokemon fan club again? I am the fishing dude, the elder of the fishing dude. Have you met the fishing guru at Lake of Rage? He dreams about seeing the world's greatest magic carp. If you don't mind, could you show him any magic carp you catch? <laughs> Who knows, you may catch the magic carp of his dream. That's really funny, I like that a lot. <laughs> just just, just show him any damn magic carp. It does, he's an idiot. Like, whatever, man. Uh, are you? Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. Yes, that's Diglett's tunnel, which, by the way, is... Just gonna grab the bike, and then right over here. There we go. We were there, like, this episode. What do you say? Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. It won't be easy to defeat. I always thought it was, like, more like they saw that you were already a champion of another, of another, um, regions. So that's why they had just had strong Pokemon, right? They were like, well, we're not gonna... Do our normal team for regular ass trainers. I love the way Clefairy waggles its finger when it's trying to use metronome. It's so adorable. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Yes. Good, then listen up. So, my favorite Rapidash. It cute, lovely, smart, unbearably, plus amazing. Oh, you think so? Too much wild, beautiful, kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly. Oh, and spectacular. Ravishing, simply divine. Oops, look at the time I've had a stroke. Uh, what do you give me in this one? Oh, rare candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Um, there's not a lot of rare candies in this game, but I might as well, you know, I, I might as well um, have it. There's no sense in not taking it, right? Uh, look at my darling bay leaf. The leaf on its head is so cute. Bay leaf. I wish you get a picture. Like, that's not what a bay leaf looks like. That's an oddish. 
So I wish there was a picture of the Pokemon too. Our chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. I like how he likes Rapidash. That makes me happy. And um, that's basically it. This is the gym, like before. So uh, we'll go in there. I want to use Cut. And what I do like at least about this, because the first game had a stupid thing where you had to look in the trash cans and like one would have a button and then you'd have to find the other button. And this is just already locked. So we're going to fight the three trainers and then fight the gym leader. What are you, you going to say? Yo, champion make it. You lucked out this time. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He has traps set all over the gym. But <laughs> the traps aren't active right now. You'll have no problem getting to Lieutenant Surge. Oh, so there's Lieutenant Surge. It would be funny if, it, if you went to the power plant first. It would power these up and actually make it some. Anyways, whatever. This will be our probably our first gym next episode. Uh, and who knows how many gyms we'll do next episode because there are four in the way. <laughs> I'm filling the blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.